Hello, this is going to be a book review on a book, a Kindle book, but I believe the uh, actual book is good. The book is called The Complete Software Developer Career Guide. It's by John Sunmez. Uh, I got the book on Amazon Kindle Unlimited, and with that, you could get it for just $10 a month with the Kindle Unlimited subscription. Um, it's really good. I would prefer the paperback to be honest with you, but I mean look at the difference. You got zero dollars and thirty dollars. Just look at it. On my, look at my mouse going back and forth and for thirty dollars I'm willing to read it um, on my computer. I got it on Kindle. Here's what it looks like and you know first of all I want to talk about uh, John Sun Mess. So who, who is this guy right? Let's take a look. We click on him and he is a software developer for many years he has a very extensive blog and podcast he has multiple books the issue that I have with him is that he's full of crap a lot of the times um, his podcast is very corny he has these really weird songs it sounds like it was made by somebody else um, in all of his videos he shows off his muscles and he talks about things kind of like we're babies or something and uh, he keeps his videos very short and he gives a lot of small bits of information but they're too small and he has a very strong funnel so he, I think he's trying to funnel the book the podcast the YouTube videos all of them to his online webinars and he talks about how you can make so much money on webinars as a software developer uh, digital entrepreneur and he's all about that but this one book is kind of a remake of this soft skills book if you click on the table of contents for both of them soft skills and complete software developer guide uh, the contents are basically the same but this one right here this complete software developers career guide is much more refined he spent more time on it more marketing and uh, there's a larger following for this book the software developer one the more recent one rather than this soft skills one which you can see has less reviews 350 versus um, 630 and the review percentage for five stars higher what do I think about this book it's amazing there are things in here that you're not going to you may not ever discover and it's going to hold you back you're gonna think that the world of software development is too competitive and he explains how the people that make it how, how do they do it how do they actually get there he talks about how if you're gonna learn your first programming language stick to that first programming language that's right here learning your first programming language he talks about how to develop technical skills and really it's practicing every day reading every day and not stopping and uh, the more time you put into it the better and it's better to do it longer and over time he talks about the difference between college boot camps and teaching yourself um, there are some people they're smart enough to do it by themselves and some people they need a boot camp or they need college and it's okay um, but they all cost a lot and the cheapest one is teaching yourself and it's totally possible for most people to do it teaching yourself he also explains the different tiers. Let me check I'm recording. Yes, I am. The different tiers of how people, there's like people who are average, people who are slow, and people who are smart. And you don't have to be this hyper intellectual dude to be a software developer. You could be average or below average. And that's what he talks about. Uh, he explained the interview process and how college is becoming more and more necessary to get past I think he calls it human resources or human it's like the people who uh, take care of all the social aspect and he's saying they're non-technical people who will stop you from getting an interview just because you don't have a degree and that's the main reason why he says getting a degree is is, is powerful but that the degree itself is not that great when it comes to your technical skills you'll have but he never went to college right and this guy outside of this book the information I feel from what I've read and watching his webinars I watched like one module of his and it's just 
It just seemed full of poop, okay, doo-doo. Um, but he goes really into it about the different sections, sectors of uh, software development, web development, mo mobile development, back-end development, um, why video game development is so competitive and it's easier to be a software developer. He separates these sectors of software development and it is very um, enlightening because he talks about which programming languages apply to each one, um, what kind of technical skills you'll need outside of programming for each mode of development. And he explains that we have to pick one. You can't just be a software developer and choose everything, especially when you're starting out. And, and he just goes on telling information like that. All I'm doing is I'm telling you exactly what he says. I'm not trying to be like this dude that is like, oh, I know everything because I don't. But I know what I read in this book. And I'm telling you that's what it says. Um, but he definitely says stuff like, well, you know what? I'm, I'm like a guru. Okay, That's the way he portrays himself. I'm a guru in software development. And um, I, there there's a maximum amount of money you can make in software development. And I've been there. That's what he says. And he, he talks about advanced ideas. After about section four, this stuff, advancing your career, is very... Um, it's supposed to be like you're already a software developer and how do you go even further? And he talks about like transcending the software development salary career where you are paid per year uh, outside of a contract, right? It's actual employment. And, and he goes into that too. Uh, contract employment versus salary employment. And um, yeah, and he, he even talks about source control and, and uh, resumes. Uh, why you shouldn't be making your own resume and hiring other people to craft and sculpt your your online presence that when we're not professionals and sculpting our online portfolio our presence our seo um because we're not professionals we're not going to do it as well and we need to hire somebody to manage our web presence right and uh, the importance of instagram and facebook and linkedin and how the employer is going to human resources, they're going to look at all that and if they see something messed up, it's a competitive field. They're not they're not gonna hire you. So the book is good. I don't like John Sunmez. I'll just be honest. I think the guy is I don't know, just he he funnels very hard and um he's a little bit overwhelming to me. Um yeah. Alright, that is the review of What's it called again? The Complete Software Developer's Career Guide. It's good. Read it. Um, but that's about all that's good about it.